Man, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back. This your boy, Reckless right. Soul with the Reckless Soul Sports Podcast. Man, we got my guy, Jay Coop, our co-host here. Um, Let's continue with these pictures. What's going on, ladies? We are live with the Houston Energy football team. What's going on, everybody? What's good? What's good? What's good? I need y'all to talk. What's good, everybody? Yeah. Hello. Um, man, we got um, Carol trying to get in here, but we are literally full with ten slots already. I hey, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can step off if I need to. I can step off. It's, it's whatever y'all want to do. However y'all want to do it. I'll fall back. Let the ladies handle it. Y'all be blessed, right, man. Coach. Y'all do good. Right, yes, sir. All right, all right coach. Bye, bye. All right, let me get her in here real quick, guys. All right, what's going on? Man, we are live with the Houston Energy Football Team. We are live on YouTube, YouTube Music, and Facebook. If you rock with us on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. If you rock with us on Facebook, like, love, comment, share, share, share. If you rock with us on YouTube Music, I truly appreciate you guys. Our podcast goes where you go. We are sponsored by j Rack Distribution, LLC, and Otto's Root Beer. Man, let's get it started. What's up, man? There's a lot of people here. What's up, girl? Yeah, man. What's going oh, yeah. on? Ready. What's up, ladies? Shit, ready, ready for y'all season to start, man. Like, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the season to come up. Um, I see, I see a championship this season. I truly do. That's it. Yeah, we see. Agreed, agreed, agreed. It's Canada bus. Um, let, let's let's tell everybody. Um, you know how long Houston Energy been around, and what what the Houston Strong mean to you? Who gonna take that? Let the vet take that. Okay. You, you got it. You gonna you just, you you been here since the beginning, so you know pretty much. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been here for thirteen years. I have not been here since the beginning. <laughs> much. Um, Houston Energy was found in uh, year two thousand. I'm gonna need y'all to talk. Y'all y'all real, real shy right now. <laughs> So check it. Oh, 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 no, no, no. We're you. not shy. We never, we never shy. It's just so many of us. We're trying to make sure everybody can talk. You know, everybody can get in. All right, let's start with this. We're going to start with G, man. Tell everybody um, your name, your, the position you play, how long you've been with the energy. We're going we're gonna to go down the line. You said sorry. Okay. Uh, my name is G Solo. I've been with you. G Solo? Can you hear yeah, yeah, we Who hear asked you. Me that? Um, yeah. I've been uh, I've been playing for Brian Wiggins for uh, thirteen years. What uh, position? I play, uh, I play defense and offense. Defense, is my love. Uh, I play D tackle mostly. Uh, I play some D in, um, but D defense is what I love. It's it's a drug to me. Uh, football is is my therapy. Well, uh, yeah. What about you, CJ? Uh, it's my first year with uh, Houston Energy, my second year in the WFA. Um, I'm a linebacker. That's all I do. It's what I do best. So it's my thing. Oh, you like to hit people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you, Ashley? Um, I've been on the team for six years, but this will be my fifth year on the team playing because our, my first year started when Kobe came around. So I knocked us all back. But yeah, I play cornerback position. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Yo, what about you, Sue? Yeah. She moved. Hey, she Sue. muted herself again. You there? Slap. Slap to AJ. I know she muted herself again. I'm still getting it together. I'm going to hit. Uh, I'm Alasia, number 12, DX12, not the little one. I'm sorry, y'all. I just found out how much I weigh today, so I'm just on. <laughs> 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 I play big club, not the little one. So, uh, and I'll I'm playing. This is my eighth year playing. Um, I'm coming back from recovery. So and I play because I like to hit somebody's healthier than what I've probably ever okay. been in my whole football career life. Um, there you go. I play defensive end. I'm a container. I get back there when I can. Um, I love the sport. This is um, I love football. I love women's football. I love the movement. Um, so yeah, I'm ready 
to play with these ladies on April 27th. It is yes, going sir. to Yes, I am so excited. I'm so ready. I'm amped. Yeah. And uh, Butler, with you, um, you won a few defensive players of the year, huh? Not a defensive player of the year, but I was on um, pro, uh, what's it called, All American team. Uh, All American, that's what it was. That's dope. Oh. That's mad dope. But yeah, been captain for three, I think, three or four years of me being on the team. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's dope. That's what about you, Tori? <laughs> um, so I'm number ten. I play running back, fullback. Um, I might get a chance to knock some heads and get on defense. Uh, we're going to see what it do. Um, <laughs> so I've been playing football in general, uh, maybe about 10 years, but, uh, been playing tackle for about four and it's my first year down here in Houston. So this is my first team, um, playing with the WFA and playing with these ladies. Uh, and yeah, really ready to, ready to see See it all come together, knock some heads, and get a championship the first year. So that that'll be what's up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, Carol, man, y'all quarterback. Well, let's let's talk about it, man. What's up? Say about yeah. about yourself. I'm I'm Carol. I'm uh, the quarterback. Might also be a punter. Um, so that's some fun stuff we've been working on that recently. Uh, and I'm a rookie. I, I played flag for a couple of years, but this is my first time playing tackle. First time with the Houston. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, yeah, um, man, everybody watching, everybody's gonna watch this in the future, man. I've seen Carol at practice, man. Her form is amazing, man. Like her footwork, man. She, Jimmy, will tell you, man. Jimmy played quarterback. We and Jimmy play football together too. Um, she, she's something special. She really is. She's something special. I, I, I truly believe y'all got Y'all have a good leader on, on, on your offense. Yo, big up, shout out to Angie, man. She's in here watching. Appreciate you sharing the episode. We got the wife saying good good evening, ladies. Hey, that's, 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 that's crazy like podcast and talk said fire. <laughs> um, he'll be at the first game also. Um, do a media with um with us, and um, I got another podcast coming through also. All right, um, somebody's sent a, a message saying y'all can't hear. It. Um, it's too loud. I'm just getting that. Who sent that? That was Susie. You can hear us. Susie, can she not hear? She got the biggest she got headset up. on. She should be able to hear. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't, if you can't hear, take off, take off your headphones. You don't do it without the headphones. Yeah. Or right, if you got some earbuds, try the earbuds. Yeah, cause we can't hear you either. Is it my turn? Let me check. Yes, it is your turn. Yes, there it is you your go. turn. Go ahead. The music is so loud in my ear. What music? What music? So my name is Susie. I've been playing with the energy for eight years. I've been playing fullback, but this year I get to play fullback and defensive end. So I get to run and then I get to hit somebody too. Let's go. Yeah. So the reason why I play football is because I can hit somebody and it's legal. <laughs> you know, um, so Amen. I somebody, so I can lay somebody out this season and stiff arm at the same time. Oh yeah, I get. Be and yeah, look, uh, she lays people out too because she gave me my first hit like a pancake. You know, you be straight up and you just fall bam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she bangs. Freight train is her nickname. Freight train. Yeah. Run through. Y'all better move. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. King, what's up, man? What's happening? Yo, big shout out to King for coming to the coming to our last um our last show we had um at Scout Bar. Big shout out to you, man, for real. Man, for sure. For sure. Y'all had some dope artists out there, especially uh, your boy T Phenomenon, man. That was one of my favorites. Man, I appreciate that. He actually opened up for Swisher House this past weekend. He about to go on uh, start yeah. his tour and then he's going on tour with Afro Man this um this summer. Man, I saw that. That's live, that's live. Oh, appreciate that. Tell everybody about yourself. Uh, shit, I'm King. I'm number one. I play linebacker and really any position, but linebacker is my favorite straight head hunting. And uh, I've been with the energy since 2019, been playing football since 2017. And uh, shit, I play football because it, 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 it gave me life. I was in the military, and after that, I needed something to bring that spark back. 
And once I got that first hit, shit, it was a wrap. Well, uh, yeah. So, man, we got LMFJ tuning in. He said, yo, one of the top DJs and producers in the country. What's going on, my guy? Hey, um, you got lady, a question? I had a question. question. Jimmy? I got a question. I heard that y'all was playing a, a certain somebody that's pretty famous out there in the world. Yeah, <laughs> elaborate. That too. Uh, yeah. Playing the Cali War. You about to play the Cali War? Yeah. Oh yeah. Cali War had. Hey, that's just another body on the field, right? right? That's yeah. all they yeah. Hey, wait, what they say? Hey, you want to see a dead body? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to see a dead body? You want to see a dead body? Straight on the field, she ain't nobody different than anybody else. So you know. So so. Right. So y'all ready? So y'all ready to take her head off and make yourself famous? That's if what I'm. Gonna, that's, listen, a body is a body. A body is a body. I wound up on one star, but we just trying to get that dub. Listen, All right. she she ain't no different. A body than is a body. It don't matter. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I forget who posted it, but I seen it and I, I saw it die. And I ain't gonna lie. It made me want to. I, I want y'all to whoop them even worse now. Yeah. <laughs> like for real. I heard you pretty good though. I mean, her she was athletic, so I mean. Cool. But yeah, if you if you, if you, if you playing against if you playing against the angel, you gotta be more than pretty good. You know what I mean? So right. let's keep it hundred. But here's the thing: yeah, everybody got to line up to get laid down, and that's just what it is. Right. Facts. See, we we on lockdown mode all season. And Man, I um, 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 what do you so think? Hard. What do you guys <laughs> think is what do y'all think is different on um, with the energy team compared to um past years? The energy, the energy. Uh, the right. rookies is so very right. coachable. The people they're they're more coachable. Uh, everybody's hungry. Everybody's ready. Um, uh, when Coach Bird first came to the team, uh, his first speech to us was, "Anybody could be knocked out the box." You know, like you got to grind, you got to hustle. Uh, just because you've been here for twenty years or two days, you know that don't mean that you got a spot. You know, so. Uh, this year, everybody's hungry for a spot. You know, it's no lack of days around here, so they yeah. ready. But yeah, the energy is right. Like the whole energy that from the past years of play and this year, from the coaches all the way to the players, rookies, even some, even the vets as well. Like everybody has the same mentality. It's really positive for the most part. Like we all work together. We all no beef. Have to and yeah, it's really not no like it's all we are all together and this is it's amazing. It feels good. The energy is there and it makes us want to come out to practice and practice and learn. And everybody's here to make each other better. And that that's just well, I feel like it's gonna make help us win in Canton. So like yeah, that's I, I say the energy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say like this, it. like I ain't even wanna. I ain't even really like have my eyes set on playing taco when I got down here. I just came out to practice, and then when I met everybody, like the energy that was there, I was just like, "Oh, I'll be here. I'll be here tomorrow." And since then, everybody's kind of locked in. The energy is amazing. So, like, I think that just kind of helps with the chemistry on the field. So, when you playing football, it's like everybody got to move as one. Like, football is the like most team sport right like you can't do anything you can't you can't catch a ball without somebody else you can't run the ball with anybody else like everybody has to be on the same page and I think like the the way our team is moving everybody's gonna feel it Um, one one thing I can say one thing I can say man the few practices I've been to the passion the passion I see in you guys is amazing it really really is um I'm gonna give a little backstory to everybody that don't, that don't know. So uh, me, me and Jimmy came out there uh, for the first episode um, of our sports podcast, and we we said uh, we set up next to what was the defensive line? Y'all were hitting, y'all were hitting like we literally talking, and I had to stop and to look over. I'm like, yo, like that's all you hear is pads crashing, and I, I was loving it. I was loving it. Um, people be like, oh, um. Women's football, they wear lingerie, cool. Nah, they out here wearing pads, and they will bust your ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, love, I love the passion, the energy, that go-getter spirit, that I don't give a fuck. You, with energy versus the world. Yeah, and I love it, right. man. I love it, for real. Demarja said, did you ladies always want to play football, or were you a different type of athlete in a different sport before? 
Good I think I'm the oldest on the call. I've always wanted to play football, but when I was in high school, I was told, you know, I couldn't play. The boys was like, if you play football, we're going to hurt you on purpose. So I actually just played basketball. Um, then fast forward, my son was playing Little League, and so my daughter wanted to play Little League, and she was actually the first uh, girl on her Little League uh, team, well, in that, in that league period, to play football. So I was like, well, here's my chance to be a motivator for my daughter and let her know that uh, we could do it one day. And so my daughter was my motivation, uh, reached out to Brian Wiggins, and I've been here ever since. Um, the downside to that is once my daughter got to uh, eighth grade, she was like, I don't want to play no more because I can't play pretty. And so that, that motivated <laughs> who uh, kind of be an advocate. You know, I always try to show uh, that we can be sexy. We know how to put on a cleat on Saturday, Sunday. We know how to put on heels, you know, or, you know, whatever we want to dress. So for me, I've always wanted to play just my my time, my generation wasn't going for it. You know, I'm, I'm glad you said that. Cause, um, me and Jimmy went to school with a chick named Amira Ford. She was actually the starter running back at, um, at Brookside in the media. And the same thing as soon as she went to Clearbrook, females can't play football. You know what I mean? Um, how do y'all feel about that? First of all, Amira was a great athlete. I remember she was called on the court and on the field. Big and facts. <laughs> Big facts. Second of all, I thought that was bullshit because the same thing happened to me. Like, you know, we could play like Little League and Pop Warner and stuff like that. But as soon as you got bigger – you know, to, to high school and stuff. It was like, I, nah, you know, we good on that. Y'all can play volleyball. Y'all can play softball, <laughs> basketball. But they weren't trying to let on the field. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, like, I look at it like the way sports are going, though, all of that is changing as we speak, um, right? Like, it's, it's happening. So I don't even think it's – do we have as much exposure? No, nah, we don't. You know what I mean? But, again – all of that is slowly starting to change if we look at the NCAA tournament, right? Like, it's all kind of – it takes time, right? You know what I mean? It takes time for people to catch on, you know what I mean? Um, and But this is why we're doing it, right? So where we're still paving the way, you know what I mean? Others have paved the way for us to be here, and then we're doing the same thing for, like, G's daughter. So when those girls come along, things will be a little bit further behind. So it's like we just got to put the work in. That's just where we're at with it. Amen. Right. Well, for me, I come from a small town. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a problem for me to play football when I tried out. The problem for me was I went but a buck 10. Them boys was pushing like 230. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get 10 kicked out too. I just stuck the track, basketball and volleyball. But then, you know, life happened. Some shit happened. And I seen a post on Facebook talking about a women's football team. I signed up for it. You know what I'm saying? Drove two and a half hours out here. Started fucking raining. Post time I heat canceling pressure. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> Go home? I don't know. So we practiced. A couple weeks later, I made the team and been here ever since. And then my passion goes as far as after I made the team, as G would call it, I would make me a little ear rookie move because I went and got me a tattoo that said the Houston motherfucking energy. I showed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, how, long you, how long you been with the team? I've been with the team for six years, but yeah. Well, at least, but at least it's still working out. Jay, her third practice, her third practice, she posted this picture, and I was like, what? Ooh. So nobody nobody wanted to say nothing. I said, hell yeah, no, nah, I'm about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> so girl got we a roasted home. her, but it was all in love. Tattoo. You know, we, we roasted her. We was like, that, that was a rookie move. But <laughs> she's still here with us. We wouldn't trade her in for nothing. Yeah. No. I know, um, I know Jimmy had a few questions for y'all. Yeah, I got a, I got a question for you. What do y'all believe is going to be the team's greatest challenge to win the championship this year? Mm, nice question. All right, so. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, discipline, mm. um, not being disciplined, not um, putting in the work, not uh, clean, Not believing in each mistake, other. Not being in our own playbook, not, not doing the stuff that we need to be great because we already, everything is there. The potential, Coach always said the potential is there, but. What's potential? We got, we got the athletes. Like the, yeah, the yeah. athletes and the capabilities ain't the problem. Yeah. Um, 
if we don't if we don't make it there, it's gonna be because we got in our own way. We didn't execute like we were supposed to. Um, that's it. That's all. Like, can't nobody. I, I, I love those answers. Um, because yeah. at the end of the day, it ain't gonna be no other team to stop y'all. It's gonna be y'all to stop yourselves. For real, yeah, that's some real professional them. answers right there. That's like some, um, some NFL type <laughs> of you know answers that uh, you'll hear from Patrick Mahomes or CJ Stroud. So you know. Uh, I mean, because we, we, we got we got great coaches. We got great coaches right. that's, that's, that that put in extra work, make themselves available. You know what I mean? That stay in our ass about any and everything. Uh, so if if we don't put the work in, that's on us. That's not on them. That's on us. That's not holding our teammates accountable for whatever we supposed to be doing. So if we don't if we don't win, it's all because of us and not because somebody was better. Yeah, man, I like it. I like it. Let's let's get to the quarterback. She over there quiet and stuff. Ain't you know she man? though? Um, <laughs> yo, this your this your rookie year. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, let, let, how you feel? Um, you ready for this field? Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, oh, before you answer that, I apologize. So, um, for a little background. You did play at Texas A and then play flag football at Texas A and then, correct? Yeah, I played flag at Texas A. I I was gonna say, uh, um, my freshman, I was or my husband is the um. A quarterback as well and so he was invited to play on the flag football team to represent and i i assumed that it was co-ed or open uh which i guess i done. girls were not on the team so i actually had to start that myself and and uh yes ma'am gig them uh and just to be able to offer myself and my friends the opportunity to play football there um so that that's something that i i wanted to continue after my time in college um but, you know, those opportunities, like, you know, we got to start for ourselves. Nobody's going to do it for us. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm so glad I found this place where, like, I'm with similarly minded people, um, you know, who do want to elevate this sport and uh, and get girls and women involved. So it, it's been awesome so far. I know I, I can't comment much on, like, you know, the, the team compared to years past or whatever because I'm just brand new. I'm a little baby. But, um, you know, it, it's awesome. it, it's such an honor so far. That's dope, man. How, how would you say the transition from, even though y'all only practice so far, but from flag football to football with pads, how's that transition for you? Yeah, it, it's it's honestly really different, especially as a quarterback. I was only a part time quarterback uh, flag because it was co ed, so every other throw is thrown by a girl and then a guy. Um, so girl quarterback, you know, I, I wasn't getting the full reps, and you know, like this time around, like you know, it, it's it's all on me, and and we're making different reads. Um, getting hit is very different. Uh, you know, flag kind of like backyard football. You run a route and you throw the open player. But now, you know, we're we're a lot more sophisticated. And so getting up to speed with the mental game uh, has been like the most, uh, you know, where the bulk of my attention has been so far. Um, so uh, that I think that's the biggest difference is, is really the mental game, not the athletic game. Hell uh, yeah. Um, before we continue with this, um, man, I'm, I'm loving this passion. I'm loving this energy. I'm going to run this song. It's called All About the Culture. I think it's like perfect for this episode right now. Everybody check it out. Say it's fat boy out there, boot man. Lake City shit. You know what I'm saying? Killer clan shit. Stack pack business. We doing something a little different right here. You know what I'm saying? Together we are strong people. Haters wanna see us down. I can't wait for them to see us now. Together we are strong people. Beg for them to let us in. Fuck asking, run the dividends. Together we are strong people. All positive, no negative tags. Group of talent, class and swag. Together we are strong people. Rock it with me, I'm rocking with you. Real shit, cause that's what we do. Together we are strong people. To where the solid congregate, where we only keep it real and we do this by state. No hate or allowed zone, and we enforce it strong. If you on that bullshit, you can get the fuck on. If you bout a bag, expect us to endorse it. Slide on contact, watch how our human resources ain't ADC. But we ain't a rock band, that is an artist trying to get funds in our hands. Most talented and first in a righteous fashion. Out the gate, we create no beginner action. Triggered and loaded, pin filled to the brim. This song alone will save.
say why we not one of them X trapper, not a rapper, word play. I got him, not act the check style. Make me get at you, building the team of been with needs fit. It's just the beginning. Y'all ain't seen that yet, yo. We a strong peak. Haters wanna see us down. I can't wait for them to see us now. Together, we a strong peak. Beg for them to let us in. Fuck asking, run them dividends. Together, we a strong people. All positive, no negative tags. Group of talent, class and swag. Together, we a strong people. Rock it with me, I'm rocking with you. Real shit, cause that's what we do. Together, we a strong people. 1229 when it began after Big Pokey passed, the group started to right. expand. Started off with just three, now we 15,000. Niggas talk a lot of shit, but they just be mounting. We be actual bosses, sucker, yeah, we been some bad niggas. We be at the office fucking with them killer clan niggas. On the clock, niggas know I straight slaughter on the beat. We got Fat Boy and his bitch and K Water on the beat. Headquarters Lake Charles operating in Houston. Mister, I'm just being honest. You a native to Houston I that family, it's a party when you make it to Houston If you not promoting in our group, then what are you doing? Anybody step to me, I'ma give them the blues Cause a seven foot nigga couldn't fit in my shoes Y'all can have the leftovers, y'all some buzzers and vultures When you see us, holla all about the culture Together we a strong people Haters wanna see us down I can't wait for them to see us now Together we a strong people Beg for them to let us in. Fuck asking, run the dividends. Together we a strong people. All positive, no negative tags. Group of talent, class and swag. Together we a strong people. Rock it with me, I'm rocking with you. Real shit, cause that's what we do. Together we a strong people. Hey, huge shout out to Fat Boy. Man, big shout out to Fat Boy, Hong huh? Clark Kent. Um, hold on, we gotta pay some bills quick, guys. Tres, cuatro tacos Don't forget the rice and beans on the plato I like to eat, homie, yo no estoy flaco Yeah, I'm chubby, pero I'm still guapo Uno, dos, tres, cuatro tacos Don't forget the rice and beans on the plato I like to eat, homie, yo no estoy flaco Yeah, I'm chubby, pero I'm still guapo I'm not a taco, but I got the sauce Even though my pasta look like Santa Claus Ponle guacamole, I don't care how much it costs Cause I'm a boss. boss. Yo quiero más, that means more. more. Yo sada, chorizo, and I'm a pastor. I'm trying to eat, homie, close the door. Close the door. I said, please, por, por favor. Please. Let me in in peace, ya vete. vete. I grind hard, mocajete. mocajete. Cuando te comiste, 20. Damn. Con salsa roja y verde. Taos. Taco Tuesday's my favorite day. Favorite. That's the reason why I'm all away. All away. <laughs> Pero I don't care, homie, let them hate. Let I'm just trying to eat another plate. Another one. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro tacos. Don't forget the rice and beans on the plato. I like to eat, homie. Yo no estoy flaco. Yeah, I'm chubby. Man, I had to do that real quick. Everybody come on out April 27th for the Taco Yee Michelado Festival. I'll be um, a judge for the Taco and Michelado. And then the Houston Energy Game is at 6 p.m. the 27th. Um, Jimmy, I know you had some more questions. Go shoot them at them. Oh, yeah. So uh, before we get to that, I want to let everybody know that's watching and listening. Uh, you can go get your tickets at HoustonEnergyFootball.com. If you go get them right now, they're $10. If you wait, you got to pay. You got to bring that mo day. So uh, we 19 days away, all right? Yeah. So ladies, 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 um, good to hear. we want to have a little fun here. So I need y'all to get y'all acting skills on, loosen up, <laughs> shake, shake them haters off, do the old school, whatever dance you got to do, you know, the little... Whatever move you gotta do, so what was that? <laughs> so bad. Whatever that what is. Is that? Right? So look, okay, okay. I want, I want y'all to. She give said, me "What dance was that?" Coach <laughs> Brian, I want somebody to give me a Coach Brian impersonation or impression of his pregame speech. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. <laughs> pregame speech. Somebody, I don't care who. I'm ready to hear this one. This should be pretty fun. You know what? Let's go with Butler. She laughing the hardest. Let's go with Butler. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. She... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, give me a second. Wait, I... 
Somebody we just picked it on you I right now. Cooler, but I need to start. <laughs> I don't know. I would normally get you, but I don't got this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't heard a pregame speech yet, so I cannot. I cannot assist you. I cannot assist you. Since I'm not I would have had, but Ashley can do it. You got it, Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Come on, impersonate Brian on game day. Everybody was like, "We ain't doing this. We're trying to start on game day." All right, now, y'all, we gotta execute. Defense, I need you to get out there. I need y'all to go down here, special team, make a fucking stop. Get the ball back. So, go out here and execute. That's all I got. <laughs> yo. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yo. So, get, I know y'all been at practice, uh, my defensive ladies. I know y'all been at practice. So, give me a, a personation. Of Coach Bird. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. What the this fuck? One. I got what? this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the fuck is y'all doing? <laughs> I didn't tell y'all to do that. This is do it again. Y'all better do it better, or I'm getting all y'all up and everybody else off. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no. I know what's going on. <laughs> fuck you lining up way over there. Right. <laughs> I ain't even on defense, and you can hear him down there. <laughs> hey, the grass. You guarding grass, King. He guarding grass. <laughs> he guarding grass. Oh man. What you doing back there? What the fuck you doing back there? Ain't nobody back there. What the fuck you saying back there? Free ass up. How you doing back there? You out there? You in no man's zone? Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Right there. Boom, boom. Oh. Take it to the crib. I make it in the end zone. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. That was a good one. My head hurt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got another one. Got another one. On the long road trip, who is the one teammate that talks the most about food or just talks the most in general when you like, can you please just stop? I'm trying to sleep. Suzy, because she going to take her ass to sleep. <laughs> Suzy, going to talk to everybody. Man. I talk a lot to everybody. I can't sleep when I'm riding. Well, that's good to know because we're going to be we gonna be with y'all on the um on the away games, riding on the I bus, love, so um, God, you'll be doing a lot of um, behind-the-scenes interviews. Oh, yeah. Oh, word. That's good. Suzy got you the whole ride. I got yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> you said the whole ride. Suzy got you. Got you. <laughs> but yeah, um, right. I, I guess. Um, sorry to know that. Yeah, we'll be we'll be at every home game. Um, we'll be uh, recording all the games. So um, basically, we'll record all, once the first quarter is over. We'll upload it to the YouTube channel and the Facebook. Um, and then to HoustonCityBeat.com. I got a uh, publishing deal with them. Um, and then all the all the away games, we'll we'll get on the bus with y'all and travel with y'all and get behind the scenes footage and all that stuff. That's hot. That's dope. So look, look, last one, last one. Uh, I know we got some of the rookies. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen all the uniform uniform combinations, but uh, some of the vets. Can you give us what's your best uniform combination? Which one do you like the most when you just feel swagged out when you step on the field? Like, you just know you finna get paid today. I think we all know. G, I G about to go get hers. <laughs> the great Uh-oh, play. Uh-oh I she mean, got I up. I wish we could use the white ones, but... <laughs> the gray is my favorite. The gray and red. The gray, all gray, with red numbers, red helmets. Gray I like the white. What? That gray is my favorite too. Black is my favorite. All black. All black. Ooh, no. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see? Yeah. Oh, see? Oh, oh, black yeah. is not your favorite. What? I do like. I do like the white and black one. I like the white and black. Yeah, we be so ice. I love all black. All black. I like that white and black. Oh, black. Okay, okay. So we got, uh, we got Coach. I know Coach listening, so he's going to put that in his notes for that first game. See but let us tell you this. In Houston Energy is so grateful. 
we have so many jerseys that we could change up. Like, we have probably more jerseys than anybody in any football league. Brian definitely oh, yeah. take care of us. Every game, we probably have a different look. Yeah. He, he, like, oh, he, he said every game, y'all probably wear a different jersey? It yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. Wanted to, yeah. Yeah, we That's could. Dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. He, he, got, he also got multiple helmets, too. Yeah. He, he got helmets like, to match. Three, four helmets. Three, four helmets. Yo, Jimmy, yeah. we need to get some media jerseys. Yeah. We got y'all. We got we some jokes. What's our order? We got y'all. We um, we got a question in the comments that you ladies are very well rounded and particularly lovely ladies. What character traits and life skills do you think young women can learn playing team sports, especially football? Communication, resilience, resilience. Um, I'm gonna say being confident, being confident. Us women take so like we, we take so much criticism. Um, confidence. You know, just keep your head up high and you could do anything that you want to do. So many people downplay us, but I think confidence is like a major thing when it comes to uh, women in sports. I'm going to say teamwork um, and just learning how to get along with, like, you hear like the stereotype, like women and girls don't know how to get along with each other. Um, it's a lot of women on this team with a lot of different personalities um and we get along um so i think just being on a football team you got 11 people on the field and you gotta learn how to get along with each other you gotta learn how to you know what i mean manage different personalities and still be able to mesh and work well together so i'm gonna say teamwork and just learning how to build and support other women that's a good I one like I, love. I like that i like you know you know i'm glad i'm glad you touched on that you know me and jimmy play sports we know how it is in the locker room um I could imagine with females, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, no disrespect, you know what I mean? Because let's keep it real, a lot of females don't fuck with each other. They don't rock with, you know what I mean? So how, how do y'all keep that tight-knit family? We respect everybody's face. We, we respect <laughs> everybody's face. Some of us is like Susie and Ashley is the more, uh, you know, friendly, friendly of us all. Uh, Alasia is just like an angel, like you know, she just caters to everybody. Like, I think we all we all respect each other's space, you know, we, we know what, what triggers each other, you know, we just go from there. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Respect, respect, respect. R E S P E C T. I think, I think, like, sports in general, like, kind of helps women learn how to just. Like you said, just learn how to be friends and learn how to be a good teammate. Um, I think everybody on this call has played some sport or another. So by the time you get to this level, it's kind of like you know how to get in where you fit in, right? Um, you learn how to pull each other to the side and just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and just chop, you know, chop it up and keep it moving. Um, so like most of all of my friends that are women play sports. Um and so, like, I, I I do. I definitely feel like people should put their kids in sports as they're young. You know what I mean? Uh, so by the time when they get to this age, it's it's easy. You learn how to navigate difficult situations. I like it. I like it. Um, we've been talking about this season and everything. Um, G, let's talk about the uh, meet and greet coming up. Yes, on Sunday, uh, the flyer, I guess, will come up on your website later on tonight. Uh, we'll be at Kawhi Houston on Sunday, uh, this upcoming Sunday. Uh, I don't know the address by heart, but uh, it's season opener. We're just kicking off uh, season opener uh, meet and greet. We want the city to come out, see what we're about, uh, just mingle. Hell yeah. Hell Let yeah. me get this address. I got, I got you on the address. The address is 4608 Almeda Road, Houston, Texas, 77004. That's 4608 Almeda Road, Houston, Texas. Oh, yeah, so we'll, we definitely, we'll definitely be there. We up. just want everybody to uh, come out, you know, and see that there are two different sides of us because, you know, from April to July, all y'all going to see is uh, football pads and, and helmets. You know, we're going to be looking rough. So, you know, we just want to – just let everyone know a little bit about us. Uh, I've been here for 13 years, and I still get asked, oh, is it the lingerie league? 
oh, how many years uh, fo women football been going on? And so we just want people to know that we're here. Outside That's of the great. football world, any women that play football, they know about Houston Energy. But outside of women football, people don't know who we are. Yeah. Um. Me, me and G been talking, been setting some stuff up. Um, we actually gonna um get y'all on the radio too, Real Talk One Hundred Radio with Malcolm. Um, next week, well, not next week, but the following week. Um, I really, I, I want, I want to try to blow this up as much as possible. Um, because I, I feel like women athletes don't get the respect and recognition men do. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm, I'm a big fan, and I respect women athletes. I've been rocking with the energy for years, for years. Um, like I said earlier, that's when um, Amira used to play for um, the Fort Worth team, and she played against y'all a few times. That's when y'all was still playing at um, Cliff Creek High School. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I love what y'all do. I respect what y'all do, man. Let's let's blow this shit up, man. I, I truly believe there's no team out here in this country that could, that could fuck with y'all. I truly mean it. I truly, truly mean it. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. We, so, we love the support. Yeah. We appreciate you guys for supporting us and taking y'all time out of y'all podcast to even, uh, you know, not notice us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. No problem. No problem. Oh, uh, you know, for the for the listeners out there that, that might be nervous to uh, maybe come try out next year uh, or maybe nervous to join the football team. Can you tell them what a, a day in life looks like for you guys? Like, you know, for, for us, us guys, we, you know, it's real simple. Hey, babe, we got to go to work. You know, uh, you know we all work. Go right? All work. So what, we what all is, come from different walks like of life. Some of us, like me, I, I'm a mother. I'm a, a Gigi because I'm too young to be a grandma. Uh, I'm a Gigi of four. You know, I'm a mother of four. I own a business. Uh, I help, uh, I mentor pregnant teens. I help battle women relocate, like just talk to the rest of like, we all have, we all come from different walks of life and everybody's schedule is hectic. If you want it, you that's, want it. That's big ups to you. Big up, everything you just said, yeah. big ups to you, man. That's, man, for that's a that round of dope. applause right there. Oh, thank yeah. you. I'd say if you want to prepare, um, the best thing to do is come out and see us, watch us play, kind of get to know us, so that way next year we'll see who you are. If you're somebody who's looking now and wanting to go, get in, um, work out, learn what you need to do for the next year, communicate with the coaches, so that way you just put yourself out there, so that way when it's your time, we be like, oh, I remember you. You put in the work to get here, so you know it, it helps you. So. Um, my day like I'm a, I'm a school bus driver um uh part-time nanny sometimes but I'm I'm married but I don't this is this is what I do I go to work football work football um so it's pretty easy for me to balance so I can say I have probably have a well I'm also in a sorority so I do things as well within my sorority as well so I guess time do be a little bit hectic, but like I said, I was trying to say earlier, um, whatever you, if it's something that you want, you'll put your mind to it and you'll do it. You'll, you won't, you'll, you won't make any excuses to get where you want to go. Um, I can say when I first started playing, you do not have to know how to play football when you, when you come and join us, because I was one of them who did not know how to play football whatsoever. Um, I came, I did not, I, I hadn't played sports in school. I ran track in middle school, but it was like, um, school's track. It wasn't like how it is here in Texas. So this is actually the first sport, actually organized sport that I've ever played. And when I joined the team, I did not know I played football. Um, but my coaches and my players got me to where now I could teach. I could teach somebody how to do what what to do. So it's like all you need to do is have the will and the power to want to want to do it. And we'll and the the coaches and the players energy will do the rest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I Anybody like it. That's that's a that's a what? testimony right there. You you this is the first organized sport you playing and look what you're doing. You know what I mean? Look at the impact you had. That's dope, man. Respect. What you mean? And even like for the people who travel, like I'm a traveler player. Like, well, for the first four years, I travel like two and a half hours to get to Houston. I travel two and a half hours to get back. Just like I got that tattoo, you know, but it was my motivation and my dedication because of the situation I was trying to get myself out of. I needed something to focus on. I needed to drive. And once it gets so hard for me, I see it as a challenge. 
that's something I have to follow through with. At times, there was times I didn't even know where I was going to get gas money from. You know what I'm saying? But because I had that drive, that motivation, and I wanted like that family and that bond with the Houston energy, I drove and I got three kids at home. You know what I'm saying? So, and I was driving back and forth. But I mean, I wanted that. You know what I'm saying? You have to have a will to do something or to get something. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't never did nothing before, how are you going to be able to do something if you don't ever try to do anything? You know, sometimes you got to step outside your own comfort zone in order to get what you want. And that's something I had to do. And I'm thankful I did because it pretty much saved my life. You know what I'm saying? And keep my bond with my kids because as old as I am, it lets my boys know no matter how old you get, if you put your mind down to something, you can do just what you want to do. And that's that. Big, big I'm fact. Say, I'm going to say, like, if you feel like you might be intimidated, I'm going to say just come out, watch the game. Um, you can come talk to some of the ladies. Um, it's really fun. Um, you'll be surprised how much you enjoy hitting something. <laughs> um, it's not, listen, <laughs> I know a lot of women, sometimes they get intimidated, like, uh, like y'all hit hard, you're padded up, you're fine. Um, you'll be like really surprised how much energy and how much fun and thrill you get from hitting something like that. Um, but yeah, like I wouldn't get intimidated. I would say just come out, um, meet us, and I think that'll ease some of your, you know, if, if you are feeling intimidated, I feel like that'll ease some of that. But um, I think I saw a question like um, you can follow the team's page. Um, I did see like when they're um, hosting trials and stuff like that. If you follow the team's page on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that, you can find out more information. And also the um, the um, t um, Houston Energy website is in the description on this episode. So y'all can check it out also. Um, Ed said, Houston Energy beat the shit out of everybody last year. Me and my wife seen it for, for ourselves. You'll be a damn fool to fuck with that team. <laughs> I, I honestly think we ju you just have to be able to be coached. You got to be coachable. You have to have a positive attitude when you come out here. You also have to be willing to play as a team. There's no I in team. So if you, you know what I mean? You could be a star, but it still take 11 players, you know, good side of the ball, 22 players to do something. Say that no. shit, Susie. Yeah, lie. You know me, me. You know, I don't. I me. Mean, I'm a full time mama, so I get up at four twenty Monday through Friday. Get my kids ready to, you know, get to school. I be at the job by five thirty. I'm a, you know, I'm a. I train people to get their CDLs to drive the bus. And uh, <laughs> playing football, it takes a lot of time when the season starts. It takes a lot of time. So you have to be dedicated, motivated, determined, and then driven to want to do this. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because Let's um we go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was I was just saying, because if you don't have that, when you come out here, it's just a hobby to some people, but some are passionate about it. So it don't yeah. matter our age, if you can, you know, competitive, you got the passion for it, you got aggressive, aggressive to you, you are able to do this. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's, let's go ahead and get to the um, comments. Got some questions. Um, it said, if you um, if there are any young women who may be interested in joining the team, what do they um, do for next year? We kind of did touch on that a little bit, and it's yeah. uh, making yourself known, um, following the pages. Um, Just looking for next trial dates and stuff yeah. that are going to be posted on the page, flyers that's on Facebook, and just be posted. Follow, our, follow, follow all of our social platform. Everything across the board is Houston Energy Football or Houston Energy. Yeah, Houston Energy Football all across the board on all social medias. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Houston Energy Football. The website, HoustonEnergyFootball.com. And if you're not using it, start exercising now, ladies. Let's go. Yeah, that part. That's the big one. <laughs> that part. <laughs> and and say live after five. I support them, man. You and Dana come on out. April twenty seventh is the first game. Y'all come on out. We'll be there at every single game, doing media and and supporting. Um, let's talk about the season. What um, what's one? What's what's the game where y'all looking forward to the most? Cali, Cali. I'm gonna say the yep. game opener. I see the game okay. opener. Uh, I, I'm. I'm gonna say the first. We never played them before. So yeah. I know I'm gonna say the game opener. Yeah, because yeah. that's the first game before Cali. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, say I'm gonna say the game opener only because I feel like we need to come out and set the tone. Like, you know what I mean? You should have said, said two games. 
I'm looking for the Dallas. <laughs> then I would have said the game. I know you are. Can we hear the I know you are, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> CJ said she want to hear the Dallas. Come on, CJ. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for All right, that. CJ. <laughs> she nah, said put them on notice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got something to prove, man. So. Wow, got a statement. I love that. Ain't wow. nothing wrong with you, CJ. Love it. Why, why you got something to prove, CJ? Huh? It's love, man. You, you ain't know, said much. Why you got something to prove? <laughs> no, no. You know, I, pl I played for Dallas this year. Um, oh, you played for Dallas? Yeah, that was my team last year. Um, and, you know, it's still a love. I love the girls down there. I got a lot of respect for them. We don't, but, we don't love them. It's only anything. <laughs> we don't love them. <laughs> but you know how it is. You know how it is. So I, I just got some proof, man. Um, I'm glad you said that. So um, with that, with them being your old team, you think that's going to be an emotional game for you? And how, how are you going to handle it? Um, yeah, I think it'll be. I think it might be an emotional game for me. Um, I've been getting locked for it. For a while, um, ever since I moved down to Houston, um, but I'm, I mean, I think it's going to be cool. I'm looking forward to it. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, it's going to be dope. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be dope. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not going to lie. My, um, I'm looking forward to all these games, but really, I'm looking forward to that first away game on May 11. Uh, to to be on the road with you guys, I think that's going to be real dope. It's going to be real, real dope. And I think it'll, it'll help five. bring recognition not to just the team, but to the league also. And we going to tap that ass. And that's <laughs> that's going to be dope. We're going to tap that ass. <laughs> <laughs> turn up, baby. Birthday weekend, turn up, baby. Oh. Win the game, turn up. Win the game, turn up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is anybody hearing music? Jimmy just sent me a private message saying he's hearing music. Anybody else yeah. hearing music? I don't hear Yeah, anything. that's what I was trying to tell you. It was so loud, I couldn't hear nothing. <laughs> Not now I'm not, but when I was trying to talk, I was like, I, I don't hear anything. Mm -mm. I don't hear no music, I don't. but not now. It's not now. Hey, because Sue, that's I know when you, said, when you sent that private message saying you can't, you, you hear the music's loud. It, it was, there was too no music. loud, I couldn't hear nothing. But there, there was no music playing. That's why I'm confused right now. Same thing with Jimmy. But it was, it was loud. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you good? I still hear it. Y'all hear music? Really? I don't anybody, hear anybody, music. Hear anybody in the comments hear music? Anybody watching live hear music? Jimmy got something else going on. Turn off one of them. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy tripping over there. He tripping over there. <laughs> we got a question in the comments. It kind of refers back to what we said about um, conditioning. It was asking. Oh, yeah, right here? Yeah. We go through conditioning camp. That is the first. That's that is pretty much what we do for the first half of the off season. We start probably in, I want to say September, October, depending on how coaches feel. No, it's no, it's no. Man. No, well, we start. Oh yeah, we do trials. We start with the you coaches. You can condition in yourself November, before November, then. We start, yeah, from November. You can okay. condition yourself before then. Yeah, right. But there's the conditioning from November to about January. I want to say because January we start getting into the nitty gritty. So yeah, we kind of that all together conditioning to make sure that we all are doing it and holding ourselves accountable as a team. But that's something you should kind of be doing before you even jump into it. Like so you don't want to come in here and you can't breathe. Then you, yeah, how, yeah. You gonna point, how you gonna prove, prove a point if you can't breathe? You know. So it's just making sure you you are active before you even come to. All right. Hey Jimmy. Start. My my bad, Jimmy. You good? You can you still hear music? Yeah, nah, yeah. I'm good now. Nah. I'm good now. Nah. Man, we got I Joey Slab tapping in, man, with hip hop artists. Um, Vizetti Gutierrez, he, yeah, we don't love him over there, man. Um, big shout <laughs> to Vizetti Gutierrez, he's one of the biggest artists out here coming out of Houston. He's actually working on a project right now with all the um big name Houston artists. Um, I think it's like a seven foot by 12 foot mural starting at like 20 grand. So, oh, so wow. big shout out to my guy. If y'all want to see that interview, I, I interviewed him a few months ago. Big shout out to you, my guy. Um and Joby Slab What's said up? you hear music because you own something right now. <laughs> nah, nah. Yo, we, we got Coach Bird in the house. What's going home, my guy? All right, everybody that comes to the meet and greet, we'll have tickets available. The first six people that come in will get a free ticket. That's how you can get tickets, Coach. That's not how uh, you yeah. get tickets. <laughs> 
Yo, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to sit on all of y'all. Yo, Coach Bird, they were clowning you, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all speech. <laughs> <you're> giving, bro. <laughs> they were clowning the fuck out of y'all. <laughs> we were not know. know. <laughs> <laughs> he about to make y'all run. I think that's the- gonna be running. So it's the first game of the season yeah. versus Oklahoma um, City Lady Force. I don't even like that name. That's too long. I don't even like that. They whack. I don't even like that. <laughs> that name is super long for no reason. That that name speaks. We're about to get our ass whipped by the energy. That's what that speaks to me. I, I don't, I don't like that. Man, we um, we did it when he wasn't on. We ain't worried about you. We would have did it. <laughs> she did a good impersonation. Whatever. <laughs> It was pretty accurate, though. It was pretty accurate, though. Yeah, that shit was funny as fuck. That shit was hilarious. That shit was so That was a good one. Yo, I, I love the chemistry with y'all, man. Um, Like I said, y'all passion, man. It's, it's going to be a dope season. It's going to be a fun season. It, it really, really is, man. Um, Like I said earlier, um, I truly see a championship coming this season. I, I really do. I really do. Um. Y'all have something unique that I haven't seen from this team in years. It's been like, from what, what I see with you guys, I haven't seen in about 10, 15 years from this team. And that's including the championship y'all won a few years ago. You know what I mean? So um, this, this is going to be dope. This is going to be dope as fuck. <laughs> the vibe just a little different this season. The vibe yes. is, is on point. Yeah, and when you have vibe on point, the chemistry kick in, and everybody on the same page, the same goal, trying to win something, mm-hmm. it'll be something. Yeah. Shamika well, yeah. okay, Watson. Nuggets on the team. Can you put that slide back up? Can I what? The fly. I think Rocket. Uh, Miss Mika said, "Who's the youngest on our zero. team? That's it's right. Rocket, right? Yeah, right? Number yeah, zero. Rocket. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Nineteen. Yeah, Rocket just turned 19, yeah. what, two days ago? Yeah, that's our youngest. That's our baby of the team. Her name is Rocket. She's a quarterback. She's a receiver. She's a dog. You asked me to put this slide back up, huh? Play safety, too. Mm-hmm. I did so we can see. They can see who the youngest person was. was oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Um, and I'm not asking this. I just see it in the comments. Who's the oldest on the team? <laughs> it's me. I'm no. older than you. Cass is older than you. You know, Cass older than you. Yeah, Cass older than you. I ain't, you know, but I'm I'm right behind y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm only. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not the oldest, but I mean, hey, we used to have. Uh, I think before Cindy retired, I think she was 48. You know, so yeah, age is not a limit. As long as you take care of your body off season, you you could do whatever. Facts, big facts. Who, who yeah. was forty eight? Who was forty eight? Cindy. No, Cindy used to be our uh, Cindy be our safety. Cindy for the huh? Yeah, can't be four four. Can't four four G four two. I'll be knocking on that four oh though. Come May thirteenth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, I said what? Was it? Like was it? Uh, wasn't she? Let me hate. Cindy was fifty-five, I think. Fifty-five, something like that. She was. I love how I just. I love how everyone's coming. Back to her eighteen yesterday. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Like forty-eight five minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? Like she was forty-eight, now she damn near sixty. Like no, she was fifty-five. She was fifty-five. Me too. Oh shit! Y'all here to comment herself. <laughs> Vicente Gutierrez said, "Are y'all sponsored by anyone?" Yeah, he can sponsor us. Let's go. He would like to. He can sponsor. He said, "Hold on, slow down. I'm only an artist. I'm asking the question." <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely looking for sponsors. Uh, we have a sponsor packet that we will be glad to email everyone. Um, yep. mo- as, as most people know, we have to raise funds to to play the sport. 
Uh, we're not getting paid by the NFL as of yet. So most of us have to look for personal sponsors. We have to look for team sponsors. Uh, this is not a cheap sport. We have to pay for our field. You know, we have to pay for our refs. Just all the way around the board. So we're always looking for sponsors. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all know a good way to get sponsors, especially coming from my way? Come to these concerts and events I throw. Mm. You got to pick another day. We can't do Thursday. No, no, I'm not talking about the, the magic show, like the fashion show I had. You know what I mean? We did a few weeks ago. We had a bunch of sponsors and business people out there. I know. I hate well, it. let us know the next one. Yes. The next one, the next one. I know nothing about that. Check it out. Check this out. This is the next one right here, April 21st. All right, send it to us all. You said April 21st? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's going to be in Spring, Texas. It's, uh, Reckless Talk Management and Promotions, Able Music Empire, and TR Apparel presents T Phenomenal and Friends Pop Up Concert Tour located at TR Apparel in Spring, Texas. Hey, I'm making it. So, if I call you live at the heat, the energy, can I spit my lines out there to the, you know, the event y'all throwing off? Huh? <laughs> I said, if I want to spit my little lines out and wrote down about the Houston energy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to let me spit my little flow? Yo, get on stage. Let's do it. Let's do I mean, it. I'm going to a little beat right now, you know what I'm saying? Yo, let's go ahead. Let me hit a freestyle. Let's yeah, let's go. All right. Who the best rapper? Who the best singer? I was just about to ask that. No, but I'm, I'm about to freestyle for you real quick. Right, okay. Let's go. Yeah. Rep the H E. We ain't talking about he. We talking about what Houston energy. What established what in two thousand two? We women what we do what it come to do. Hey, we play football too. And if you ain't know, we what we Houston energy boo. There yeah. you go. <laughs> that was all right. That was all right. <laughs> all wrote out though. That's all wrote out. I wrote it in like five minutes. You can ask my man. It's all wrote out. I let us. She made it here on Thursday. Okay, let okay. you ladies. You have a beat behind the den, right? Yeah, we have to be We got nothing but some words. Somebody want to be cool. I got the words. You give me a few. You said five minutes. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I was in the car, man. Like literally, I heard a song, had a beat going to it. I didn't have my, my pen and my notebook. And he always be telling me, well, you got the notebook thing on your phone. You know, you ought to use that. And I was like, you know what? You're right. So I just started doing this thing. And we was driving. We got to the house. And he was like, what you doing over there? I was like, man, I didn't write this whole little song about the Houston energy. He was like, for real? I was like, yeah, you want to read it? He was like, yeah. So I let him read it. He was like, you just did that the whole time? And you was just right? I was like, yeah. Just like that? And I was like, just like that. And that's how they went. Just like that. Yo, so yeah, I'm watching so. everyone's faces, and Tori is trying her hardest not to crack up right now. <laughs> Y'all know I'm the wind queen. I'm the music queen of the energy. Uh -oh. I'll be on the sideline. Y'all know I'll be having y'all crunk on the sideline. Tori don't know yet, but Susie and Tina know, and Ken know I hold it down on the sideline, baby. Let <laughs> She, she, yeah, wear, she wear a lot of hats right there. She wear a lot of hats. I dance the whole practice. I dance the whole game. I be singing. I be vibing and jigging. I'm trying to tell y'all. No, nobody know her. You want to be paying attention to my face, man. <laughs> right. you do like me and just cut the camera off. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It, it was giving me uh it was giving me um Houdini the flow. <laughs> what, what, it, was, what, what? It, was, it was giving me that old school Houdini flow. Yeah, uh, y'all gonna be surprised though. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all think it's a game. I'm from the country. This shit is live. I'm real. Yeah, I already real. Real country. Real over here. I'm trying to tell y'all. Don't knock my so, game. So who the best singer? Who, who got the vocal? <laughs> I mean, it's it's so so I don't know. No, yeah, Ashley said she got it all. She covering all. Ain't nobody on the I hold a good note. I do hold a good note. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. What y'all want to hear? 
Hawaii Give Red. Hawaii do. Hawaii. What's one of your best songs? Yeah, you one of your best songs. We have a rookie who is a singer. Best songs. Hawaii. Yeah. Y'all need to go check her out. She is dope. Mm-hmm. Wow. This what I got. This girl. Okay. Yeah, she is very I told her because she do hair. She do tattoos. I was like, Y'all go look her up. Y'all go look her up. She is very talented. She'll be there Sunday. Okay, Come check her out. Shout out to my teammates. Oh, my. I'm sliding over hey, tomorrow. I'm going to make a dress out something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why you be doing beats? She do music and all that stuff, too. She do. Okay. That's what's up. Hell, uh, yeah. I don't know. That's what's up. That's mm-hmm. what I think. You, you know, know, rappers want to be somebody. athletes. Athletes want to be rappers, so... No, not all. You know, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you just said that because for y'all single the Mayo game, um, man, I have, I have two Mexican artists coming out to perform at halftime for y'all. That's what's going on. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got yeah. OT coming. Um, no, but um, we'll talk about that off camera because um, contractual wise, I can't speak on what I wanted to say just now. Okay. Don't say it. Don't say it. Calm <laughs> down. Cool. I like a little by y'all too. You know, I do a little saucing too. I tell y'all. A little bit. You do what? That's <laughs> some haters. Uh, uh, hey, y'all. Hey. You know, like I do a little saucing. It seems like everything they say you do it. <laughs> you know, this, this, this is this brother man from the fifth row. Is this something they say you going to do? It, you ain't going to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I fix on cars. I fix on houses. I fix your man if you want me to. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, y'all gonna enjoy y'all. Uh, y'all gonna enjoy this uh, traveling with this team. Too. Yo, <laughs> man. Actually, listen. What? Do you do plumbing? Plumbing too? Hell yeah, I do. Oh, Are y'all not entertained? Are y'all not entertained? Ask the session from the country. Before y'all go to understand. I could dance. I cut down trees. Like, I am well-rounded, baby. I'm a Jill if I cut down trees like she the brawny man and shit. Goddamn. Be breaking horse. I don't fuck with electricity. I don't fuck with electricity. Mm-mm, y'all keep that. <laughs> Yo, you know this is dope, man. Um, my wig off. I don't fuck with it. <laughs> Since that thing got brought up while we was live just now, we might as well tell the story, right? Oh, oh man. man. Mm-hmm. No. It ain't coming out today. No. Oh, Talk about this. <laughs> Um, but I can really see Ashley, you that you that joking type. I feel, I feel like you're like the glue of the family. You know what I mean? Yeah, I try to keep everybody happy. I try to keep everybody positive and motivated. I try to keep everybody in good spirits, you know, because at the end of the day, you never know what nobody's going through. <laughs> and me personally, I don't like to be a mean or negativity person, so I'm gonna always keep it positive. Even if I'm having a fucked up day, they will never know. Unless it's like my tooth problem, oh yeah, they're gonna know because they've seen that before. Other than that, yeah, we Gucci. That's it, all the way around that building, all up in the bus, all on the field, all in the locker room. I'm there. If you need me there, I'm gonna be there. That's what's up. Do you change oil too? Oh, yeah, filter. Daddy want an oil change. Daddy want an oil change. You got filter in your oil? If not, I charge you for all that too. If I got to go buy your oil and filter, I'm charging your ass. Yo, facts. Um, before we go ahead and end this, um, so you guys are practicing on Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays now, correct? Yeah. Yes. Um, t- tell everybody the time that um y'all practice, but just kids that want to come watch y'all practice and um, where y'all be at. Um, it varies. Sometimes we're at Blackhawk Park. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we're at Memorial Hermit Sports um, Park. We got a from seven to nine. That that Memorial Hermit is the spot right there. That's. The- <laughs> yeah. And on Sundays. Yeah. Saturday and Sundays is from nine. Memorial Hermit does give you a different sense of scenery. Mm-hmm. I so from nine to nine to eleven Saturdays and Sundays. What time on Thursdays? Seven, seven to seven. nine. Uh, yeah, that's dope. That's, that's dope. That's seven to nine p.m. and then on Saturday and Sunday it's nine to eleven a.m. Mm-hmm. Thank you that's for cool. clarifying that because I'm sure people will show yep. up at. Just at seven o'clock in the morning on a Thursday. We are busy. Just want to be clear. 
we all gonna they be at work. They won't see some of us because we're gonna be at work. All right. Mm-hmm. Work. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, before we end this, any, anybody has anything they want to say? Come out. Just come out. Yeah, come out and support. Come come check out a game. Show some love. We'll love to have you. Donate. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and to- anybody watching, anybody watching in the future, like I said, we're going to have artists performing for that single De Mayo game. Also, we have artists coming out. I got a few artists and comedians coming out for the first two games to work the sideline. If anybody's interested, hit me up um, on, on my Gmail, talk 718 at gmail.com. And don't forget about the meet and greet, too. Y'all come out and check us out there, too. Yeah, yeah we want to meet and greet. Meet and greet. Yeah. Hey, Jay. Yeah, appreciate you, Jay. Yeah. Oh, we go. I appreciate y'all. Me and Jay do this with with everybody. Uh, we got to get the team. So y'all got to come together as a team, right? Uh, give me your top five hip hop artists. Dead or alive? Dead or alive? Tupac. Missy Elliott. My, Tupac, my number one. Tupac. I'm going with Missy. Number one. Mm. Two pot, Lil Wayne, Missy Elliott. Okay. Yeah, okay. who you got? I'm not gonna lie. Fuck as well. Okay. Huh? Carol said Tupac. QB said Tupac. she like Tupac as well. I like Rose too. Though. I, like, yeah, I Rose. like Wayne and Joseph McVeigh. Okay. We got some Wayne. Oh, I see some Andre 3K. It's some Kanye. So, you should have uh, said UGK. Uh, yeah. Y'all heard about the J. Cole? Um, I did. Fitness. I did. Um, because it's women football, I'm going to throw Rhapsody in there. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. All right. Love, like it, like it, like it. Y'all want to hear my top five? Uh, Dylon, 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 and Dylon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we being for We need five. I was just about to say, for the ones not laughing, I just showed my age. <laughs> I'm like, are we being for real right now? <laughs> man. Oh, shit. Man, but let's go ahead and end this, man. Um, I appreciate all of y'all taking time out your busy schedule during the week. Um... Everybody watching, man, go ahead and share this, man. Share, share, share. It's your boy Reckless Talk with the Reckless Talk Sports Podcast. I got my guy Jimmy co-hosting. <laughs> we are live on YouTube, YouTube Music, and Facebook. So if you've been rocking with us on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button. If you've been rocking with us on Facebook, hit the like button. Comment, love, love, love. Share. Even if you ain't like the, the episode, tell us why you didn't like it. You know what I mean? And if you rock with us on YouTube Music, we truly, truly appreciate you. Our podcast goes where you go. Big shout out to our sponsors, Autos Root Beer, the best root beer on earth. Before we end this, y'all ladies tell, tell the world how Autos Root Beer tastes. Y'all had it. That root beer was good. Amazing. Yes, it was <laughs> really good. I think it was legit. It was cool. It was tasty. Real good. cool. <laughs> I just couldn't hardly hear. Anybody still do root beer floats? Huh? Anybody still do root beer floats? Yeah. Yeah, I don't root beer does root beer floats. I know that's yeah. why I feel what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I, I said we're going to get to our next practice and we got we to gotta see it, you know? Yeah. I'll make sure, I make sure to have like, some. I'll make sure to have some cases of root beer for got, y'all. You still got your? Damn. That's what's up. It was That's what's up. Y'all got y'all gotta try that grape and orange soda. Um that shit is good. You know, we that can't have some season, so we're not supposed to be drinking that. Oh. Like, we gonna we gonna try it because you're gonna bring it, right? We're gonna try it because you're gonna bring it. <laughs> <laughs> we we gonna talk off camera, but we definitely gonna have to have a case for the road games, you know what I mean? Well, I was like, oh, road trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, road trip. I pre- I truly appreciate you guys, man. Y'all go get it, and we will see you guys on Sunday. Thank you. We appreciate everybody watching. Y'all go ahead and share this.